Hey, Pack Busters! Welcome back. I'm going to continue opening some vintage hockey packs, and I have the last one of my collection, an 84-85 Topps hockey pack. One of my favorite years with one of my favorite players. So this is the last pack I have. I know they sell on eBay for 30 bucks or more, but uh, we're going to bust this open. Uh, the wa um, Sorry, the gum is not loose in here. I think these had a little bit of a moisture issue because they've had the gum stuck to the card. Uh, 165 cards in this. It was a smaller set. I think it was their first year back from taking a couple year hiatus and only letting OPG make cards. Um, some key rookie cards, of course, is Iserman, Andrew Chuck Brasso, LaFontaine, Poulin, Verbeek. Um, again, some of the cards were double printed because it was a smaller set. They doubled up some of the players on one of the print sheets. And, uh, again, that's kind of why the Iserman isn't valued more because there's just, it was double printed. There's a lot of them out there. Um, also looking for any Gretzky's, Ray Bork's, uh, Lafleur, some of the, the great players. So let's open this up. Again, if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe, please. I'm, I'm enjoying the comments and the channel growing. Um, so let's open up this 8485 Tops Hockey Pack, the last one that I got. Oh, and it's 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 sealed. And uh, let's see what we got here. Opening kind of ripped a little bit. They didn't do the wax on these. They uh, they went with the plastic. So uh, I think that was an improvement. Um, uh, let's take a look at the gum here first. I'm going to pull that bottom card off. Uh, Don Beaupre, North Star. So there's the gum. Oh, it did come off, but uh, looks like uh, let's see what you can see some of the. The, the bubbling there, but there's the gum. Again, don't eat it, don't put it in your mouth, don't share it with friends, get rid of this, even though I'm actually saving them all, ha! So uh, let's get rid of that there. All right, let's see who we got. Uh, so I, we got Mike Felino with the Sabres. I like Mike, he played with the Red Wings for three seasons, had 20, 30 goal seasons. Um, and his son, Nick Foligno, uh, played for Columbus, met him a number of times, very gracious, very nice, uh, humble, and, and good player. He's uh, He moved on to uh, Boston, and now he's with Chicago, um, and doing actually pretty well. Uh, sometimes says Connor Bedard as his line mate. So Mike Foligno, great card there. Uh, look at the centering, though. This run that I got, whatever box I bought these from, these 8485s are just not centered well, unfortunately. Uh, hey, great defenseman Paul Coffey. Again, look at the centering. They almost cut it completely at the bottom. Ah, uh, so badly cut. But uh, Paul Coffey with the Oilers. Again, great, great player. Loved it when he came to uh, Detroit. Good little start to this pack. Felino, Coffey, and Brian Trottier. So, uh... Brian, uh, again, I had some uh, fun with Brian when he was with the Roller Hockey International Pittsburgh Phantoms playing all the home games. Um, would always talk to him by the locker room, out on the court, uh, signed a card for uh, for me. So, nice guy. Brian tried a great player. Good pat. Oh, Brad Park. Brad Park, man, he was with the Rangers for years, went to the Bruins. A uh, super long career. Great, great player. Uh, so, Brad Park, defenseman. Um, again, had all those great years with the Rangers, um, came over to Detroit. I don't think he was there very long, though, uh, so I have some Brad Park. Dennis Potvin, we had him in another pack, uh, another great player, great Islander. Um, so this is turning out to be a decent little pack here. And, I mean, if you got Brian Trotty, hey, you might as well get Mike Bossy. Yes! All right, with the Islanders. So Mike Bossy, Brian Trotty, hey, this is a good little pack. And this card... Uh, the centering seems to be getting better. Uh, Pop Band was pretty good there. So, uh, outside of those first couple cards. Uh, Rob Ramage. So, there's Rob Ramage with the Blues. Um, I think he played for the Rockies. So, Rob, uh, you know, good uh, journeyman, good player there. So, Barry Paterson. Uh, don't know much about him. Here he's with the Bruins. Uh, his name is familiar, but... Uh, I'd have to look up more information on him. Again, the centering is going a little bit now again. And uh, Lori Boschman. And this one again, look how badly centered that is. Jeez. Um, you know, OPG always had the the cut issues and the rough edges in the centering. But Topps is uh, uh, not, not coming out strong with this first release after a few year hiatus. So Lori Boschman with the Jets, the Winnipeg Jets. So... 
All right, let's see who we got here. Hey, Ron Duguay. You know, we got some good Red Wings in this pack here. I liked watching Ronnie Duguay play. Again, one of the great Rangers, uh, right wing. That's kind of a pretty, I like that picture there. A little bit of an action shot. Got the Capitals there. Uh, Peter Sundstrom with the Rangers. So Peter Sundstrom. I believe this is a rookie card. Um, I would have to, to double check that again. Uh, probably not a whole lot of value, but uh, Peter Sundstrom. Rob Langway. This is the oh, all-star card. So uh, the last 84-85 pack I opened had three all-star cards in it. You know, good players too. Uh, I think it was Curry and uh, the, the, the Bossy, I think it was, or Tridia, one of the guys. Uh, um, but Rod Langway, so NHL All-Star card. Um, coming down to the last couple cards here, Nevin Markwart. And I don't know much about him. This will be a rookie card based on the stats on the back. Played with the Bruins, 30 points uh, in 70 games. I uh, don't know how long he was in... Uh, uh, the, the league. If you got any information on him, please share. Uh, Nevin Markwart. And the last card, uh, you know, no, no Iserman in this one or anything. Uh, big rookie card, but Bob Froese, 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 uh, goalie, uh, with the Flyers. So, uh, so for an 84 85 pack, not bad. Actually, started out really strong. Uh, I, I like the Felino. Of course, you got Paul Coffey. So that's a good card to have. And uh, just badly cut, though, and uh, sadly. Sadly and badly cut. And then probably the two uh, two best cards would be the Bossy and Tridier. And these are fairly well-centered. Uh, so these are going to go into some sleeves. So Pot Van also. So we had uh, th uh, three great Islanders in here. Um, Ron Duguay. So one of my and Brad Park. Always liked those guys when they were with Detroit. So... Decent pack. I like it. Couple cards going in sleeves here. If you see any of these cards and you need anybody, let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can get you, get the cards to you somehow. So, uh, again, thanks so much. And uh, thanks to my son for the, the ring light again. Um, saving all the gum. There's like 40 to 50 year old gum in here. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, but, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, piece order it is. We'll just add it to the mix. But, you know, uh, doesn't smell like anything, so uh, but it's all a little dried up gum. Hey, thanks again. Uh, short video, uh, great pack. I'll keep opening some more. I just posted an 8182 pack uh, before uh, this week. Check that one out. That one was loaded. Um, couple key rookie cards and some great uh, uh, players and veterans. Um, so. Those 8182 packs have not disappointed. So um, the first 8485 one I did was the one that kicked us all off when I pulled that Iserman out of there. And uh, I think Tridier was in there too. And so that one was a good pack. So, all right, I'm just rambling. We're going to shut it down. We'll see you. Like and subscribe. Bye.